It's the BMW 6 Series! This is the before and after. Feel about 10 pounds lighter. It wasn't too bad, but I decided it kind of needed to be done. And uh, the gentleman in the 6 Series to my right is on his way out. He just got himself a haircut too. It looks like a 650. East City 3, ladies and gentlemen. Very nice car. Well, these trees haven't greened up at all, but as soon as we get around the bend here, you'll see that a lot of them have, and more so down on the longer part of Hudson Aurora Road. <laughs> see the flowers there? Freaking rice. It's 60 degrees. It's very pleasant. I just opened up all my windows and stuff. And I thought I'd be a little cool, but I'm not. It's very comfortable. I'm going to go home and, I think, wash the car because it's nice out, and it's really dirty. So, more green. Just loving it. That's right, boys. Time to clean this up. I haven't cleaned it since the day before we went to California, so we'll get on that. Wow, so it's like six o'clock now. Uh, it took about two hours to get the car to the point where it is now. I went in, got some food, took a break. It's almost done. I need to do my exhaust. I've got tons of carbon in there from a while of buildup. Wheels are nice and clean now, so it's just time to get some tire shine on there. The interior's pretty good. I did vacuum it out. I need to get some wax on here. I can tell it feels like it needs wax. And I've got little bits of tar. I got most of them off, like over here in the fender. So somewhere there was new pavement. You know those little black marks that you get on there and they look like little bugs and you pick them off with your fingernail. And then you get that black streak of tar across the paint that requires a lot of wax and elbow grease to get off, but it does come off. So I really need to go over the whole car like I did last spring with some wax and something hard under a towel and pick off all those little tar spots and a little rust in the clear coat and stuff on the back bumper. It's a pain in the ass, so I'm not gonna do it now, but that does need to be done. Anyways, I was looking through some photos. This was taken on um, 7-13-2003. This is in Santa Barbara at this fountain. It kind of, it doesn't make sense that there's this building here, but it's the same fountain. My grandfather drew that. There's this same fountain. <laughs> There's the same fountain right here that I took a picture of my dad at, and he got one of me on the Santa Barbara Pier. So I guess if this is the right fountain, then there's a big building right here. You can tell they've changed all this, but um, this would have been 11 years, almost 11 years later. That's me and my sister a long time ago in 03. Well, nine years then. Yeah, same place. This thing has come in use many, many, many times. It is uh, just 9.59 p.m. out here, and I'm still working on the car. I think I started about 3.30. I don't know if I filmed the clip right then. 3.30 to 4 o'clock, um, and it's almost 10, so I've got six and a half, probably seven hours in this today by the time I'm done. Yes, Kenan and Jack, I am just milking the car section of today's vlog, I know. But, uh, you know how I said I, that in the spring I go over with the wax, and I do that. Um, reaching for my remote, which is right there, and uh, that I do that thing with the wax and the towels and I take something hard to it and get all that crap out of the paint, well that's done. I really didn't want to do it, but I went in and I took a half hour break around 5 or 6 o'clock and I uh, figured, you know, it is spring, I have the energy, it's supposed to be a nice couple weeks here, if it rains Tuesday, that's the only percent chance of rain is Tuesday, it's 30, I won't drive it Tuesday if it rains Tuesday. So I went over every square inch of this car with lights, wax, towels. I know you guys think I'm anal, but that's why it looks like this after 160 tomorrow, 1,000 miles. Look at that exhaust, just beautiful. Detailed everything, I'm really happy with it. I got a lot of stuff out, just tar from the roadways. <laughs> that thing was a lifesaver after 7.30, after it got really dark. Just feels like glass now. And then I went over the glass with rain -X, so that feels really nice. Most of the crap in the paint was over on the side that you know, has the other lane next to it. It was right up here behind this wheel, everything below the black line over here, but by far the worst part was this rear fender and this corner of the bumper back there. It was really bad. So now it looks nice again. Well, I just had dinner. It's 12.08 in the morning. Looks like we had popcorn and ice cream. Oh, that smell after you, you use wax. Oh, it's wafting. <clears throat> oh, and it looks like I made a bit, a bit of a mess here with the wax. Looks like that's gonna come off okay. Okay, over here. And there's some more there. That looks really wet, so I'm not stepping on that shit. Freaking rights though, check that out. That is beautiful, I'm really happy with this. Just milking the car footage again today. But uh, freaking, this is the cleanest this car has been, possibly forever. 
because that's the best job I've ever done on the exterior. Um, but definitely this year and this season, and I guess that's going to be my spring wax coat. Although for Christmas, my dad gave me the Zeno kit, which has the clay bar and a whole bunch of different wax buildups after that. So I may clay bar it, which takes off all the contaminants, and then we start building on material from, or not material, I guess, but we start building on new wax and stuff from there. Uh, and that's really cool. That was a nice gift. So definitely in the month of, by the month of May, I'll, we'll do the clay bar and everything, but God, I love the M exhaust. Look at that. Just boss. Speaking of M exhaust on my dad's X5, he's looking into replacing the exhaust tips. It's the 3.5, 3 liter. Whatever the one that wasn't the V8 was, he got that for gas mileage and resale and efficiency and stuff. Um, he wants to get a better exhaust system on it, one that has bigger tips. Or I told him to get the ones from the X5M and weld those on there. That would be really cool. But I think he's going to come over next weekend. We're going to clean his wheels and try to get these tires on. Oh, it still smells so good in here. Freaking right it does. So I guess we'll do that next weekend. This week's a short one because Friday is going to be good, pun intended. Uh, we have that off, so it'll just be four days, and I may not even drive Tuesday, so hopefully it flies like last week. We'll get to Friday, talking about our Yacht Club extravaganza, time will tell, and uh, then hit the weekend. It's supposed to be a sunny, relatively warmer week in the high 50s and sm high 60s on Tuesday, but Tuesday's got that percent chance of shower, so I didn't spend six hours on the car today to only have it be clean for a day. So if it rains Tuesday, we'll take the dirty one. And it is just dirty as freak, too. I don't know what my mom did to it. There's like this dirt crap on the back. Look at that. That is disgusting. I need to wash this or pay somebody to. Just kidding. I'm not that much of a Republican. All right, I'm asking Bobby for any words of wisdom. I know that he missed out yesterday. We'll see what he comes up with today. Oh, he says, don't hit deer. Well, that's important. And there's Colt. And there's 001. All right, that's it for today. Today was Sunday. It was a good day. I got up about six hours ago, so going to sleep is going to be hard. But I'll talk to you tomorrow morning on Monday.